Hello everybody. Thank you for finding your way to my channel called Finding Value where I discuss decluttering my home this year. I am looking at 52 spaces in my home trying to do a very very deep declutter and organization so that I can breathe a sigh of relief after that and not have to do so much organizing and cleaning and picking up and putting away. I'm just really hoping to get rid of a lot of the items in my home so that we just have less to deal with. I am really only keeping the items that bring a lot of value to our family that we use often and that we love. That seems like a reasonable plan to me. I am feeling very vulnerable this week. The area that we are going to declutter together is my bedroom that I share with my husband and this space should be a space that is already decluttered and um, tidy because I have several videos that I made earlier on last year where I decluttered many, 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 many items out of this room. And I'll just be honest, I make these videos because I am working on this process myself. I am not necessarily the most tidy person, although I really do love and enjoy my house so much more when it is organized. Um, and I do feel like I, I have some organization skills, but I don't always put them into practice in my own home just because we're busy. I have two small children, you know, any excuse in the book, right? That is still my goal this year is to keep working on this process. This journey takes a while. I'm peeling back layers upon layers upon layers and just really continuing to tackle it. So today... I am going to just be working on one small corner. It will actually be the nightstand that you see behind me and kind of the surrounding area because I really want to challenge myself to continue to learn that tidying skill. So instead of just, you know, kind of moving some of those things out of the way and only tackling what's inside the nightstand, I want to again go through the items that have accumulated over uh, the past few months and this is really the place that I stash things that I'm not really ready to deal with yet so that is going to be my challenge today is to clean up this nightstand area. I also feel like this video is a lot more than just come watch me tidy or encourage you to tidy this one little corner in my room. One little corner is not necessarily that important but I did have the realization the other day when I was a little bit frustrated with my daughter for the messes in her bedroom and then I came down to my room and saw this corner that I have let explode and I realized it's so much more than that. It is really an example that I'm setting to my family, to my children, that this is important. It's important to take care of our home. It's important to not surround ourselves with clutter and stress. And I don't want to be super rigid about it, but I do want to set that example for my children. So that's the inspiration that I have for this video is to think about my kids and what I want them to learn from this is to just take care of their spaces. And then that is a way to take care of themselves. I'll show you a little bit more what we have going on. This black and gray bag is packed or not really unpacked from a trip that we went on. I kind of threw it in here because I didn't have time to deal with it. And when it comes in here, it's really the worst place to put it because I rarely come in here unless I am ready to sleep. And I am guess I'm not <laughs> going to take the time to put it away at that moment. Um, this Target bag is actually a bunch of things that um, we had kind of packed up for a garage sale and realized they're really not saleable. We had to do something else with and I brought them home and they never made it out of this room. So it's been a, a few weeks of things sitting here in this corner. A few uh, miscellaneous items down there and then we also have just some pretty full drawers that we need to deal with. I also love to keep a few books on my shelf but obviously I don't need these many and um, this is actually kind of the home where I put little notes for I want that I want for my YouTube channel which is definitely not the best location. I'm going to try to make a spot in the desk to save those types of things so that I have a home for them, but um, not on my nightstand. And then there are a few items here that I moved from the family room, and I need to have really the exact location that I want for them. I know that this corner is my responsibility. This is 
a mess that I have created and I really want to try to stay on top of this. I have laid out a couple laundry baskets, a smaller basket here, and even a couple baskets down here. Yes, that's just the garbage can. And those, I hope, will help me to organize this declutter. realize that this whole bag of items actually it wasn't packed from a trip anymore this was items that I had upstairs that I wanted to bring downstairs and I think maybe somebody was coming over so I ended up throwing it into the bedroom before it actually got put uh, away downstairs so this whole bag can be put into this bin which is for things to put away downstairs that will take a little while but it's nice that it doesn't take very long to sort I will also be dealing with the excess items that are on the shelf. I really don't want this many things on here. It feels cluttered to me. This is the top of my nightstand before I am organizing it and decluttering. My goal is to just have a lamp up there. I probably will end up putting a book or two, but hopefully I will have a spot for those in the nightstand too so that this space can just be very clear and empty and spacious. I usually do have a coaster also for my water at night, so that will be able to stay on top, but all of the rest of these books and papers will be gone. This top drawer of my nightstand is perfect for those things that you need to reach for in the middle of the night, like chapstick or uh, lotion maybe, uh, but it doesn't need to have this much clutter, so I hope to empty this and organize it completely. This drawer is so full that I really cannot even close it without taking a few items out. There are some things that I just toss in here that really don't belong here, and I would like it to be a lot more organized. This drawer is also very full with items that I rarely ever choose to uh, get out of these drawers, so I may need to decide if I keep these items or if they just need a new home. Now I'm moving on to the nightstand. This is a letter that um, my grandma hand wrote. She has dozens of grandchildren and uh, many kids and their spouses. And because of COVID, we did not have Christmas together, but uh, many of us went to her house and stood outside of her house and sang carols. And she was very pleased and surprised by that. And um, a lot of people left gifts and some people left gifts in a big box so she was able to go through the box um, all day and just discover new things and have kind of a, a joyous Christmas mostly by herself that day but um, we were glad to just make her day a little bit special special so she hand wrote us each a letter and that's just very special um, I need to make sure that this gets put in a very safe place and I know just where to put it so that's good I also wanted to say that this decluttering does get easier because this is something that I would not have gotten rid of a long time ago. It would take me a really long time to get rid of this. This is part of my charger for my phone that stopped working very recently. Um, I did have another item that I had gotten from a Roku that ends up being the same as this. So I, I'm able to replace it very easily. And I know this part of it doesn't work. The cord worked, but this does not. So why keep it? I'm going to get rid of it. It won't get mixed up with my husband's cord that way. And um, this is an easy decision, decision now. It would not have been easy for me to make this decision. I don't know why, because it's broken, right? But it seems important. So anyway, not important if it doesn't work. That's a good lesson, right? <laughs> I do tend to put hair binders, earrings, bobby pins, anything that I wore that day 
that I want to take out of my hair before bed into this drawer, which I actually don't mind that to some whatsoever. The problem is that I don't clean it out often enough. So I would like to have uh, a space within this drawer that I only put these items. So it's very easy for me to just grab that bin, take it upstairs, put them away maybe once a month. Um, we'll see how often it gets filled up, but that would make it way easier for me to find the things that I'm looking for, like that certain pair of earrings that I haven't worn in a few weeks because it's stuck in this drawer. Um, I would know exactly where to find it and I could put these away much easier. So that's my plan for this drawer. This basket is all the items that I need to move upstairs. For some reason I only have one slipper. Hopefully it's upstairs. This is the pile of items that I need to go through that will remain downstairs. They just really need to get put away. These are the few things that I had on my nightstand that I use for my YouTube channel. Just little notes and lists of things that I want to accomplish. So I will find a place in my desk for these. These are the items that I will be recycling that were either inside the nightstand or somewhere else in this corner. These are the items that I found in this stash that need to be thrown away. I was able to get through every item in those baskets and put them all away in their collective places that they needed to go. And that just feels like a good relief that those are out of the bedroom and into the exact places that they should be all the time. I'm very excited that this space is cleared out and empty, but even more so, I'm excited for this to be an example for my children. I really want this space to be a space that I try to keep tidy every single day. They have their own rooms and those are really their truly own spaces that they will be able to learn and grow and figure out how to clean, how to declutter, how to keep um, a space that is peaceful and organized and will make their life a little bit easier. And I would really like to be the example for them to do that. So that is my goal with this. I really hope that I can keep it up. Now for a few before and after shots. These are always my favorite. Remember this mess that I had in the corner by my nightstand. This corner is so much more peaceful now. I just can't believe the relief I'm going to feel when I walk in here and go to sleep tonight. There will be nothing on my mind about needing to put something away. I just needed to take a few minutes to look at the items on this shelf and to make a few decisions about where they would live. I like that this space will be kept a little bit more minimal, just the exact decorating items that I want. I kind of love these wine vases. They were what we used at our wedding for table decorations. The clutter on top of this nightstand was really getting in my way at night. I love to get in bed and just read a few pages in my book and that was even getting a little tricky. Just look at this after shot of the top of the nightstand. How peaceful is that? I could just curl up right next to it with a good book. So excited for this empty space. I really love this lamp when I found it for $2 at a garage sale. I thought that was a good score. And this painting is one that was in my husband's home and he has now inherited it. So it has a special place in our room. Way too many items have been dumped into this top drawer. I really just needed an easy system for cleaning it out in the future. This drawer is exactly what I need it to be now. It has a pen, a pencil, and a little tray that I got from my friend. This empty tray is what I'm going to use to put my jewelry in when I take it off for the night. So I can easily take this out and bring it upstairs and put it away. I mean, just looking at this drawer, you can easily tell why it needed to be decluttered. This bin has everything that I love to keep in this drawer with nothing stuffed on top of it. I love that. A couple storage bins that I got from some good friends. This is a ring holder that I got from my in-laws, which I now use for earplugs. <laughs> and a couple bins for things that I may use in the middle of the night, like lotion, chapstick, and Vicks if I'm stuffed up. So this is exactly what I would love to keep right next to me in the bed. 
Previously, this drawer was filled with items that I rarely ever chose to use. And after I decluttered it, it was nice to have the items that I do use. This drawer has all of the books and journals that I reach for most often. And now they have a home right next to my bed. But they're not visible, so they don't create clutter. I don't know if you could tell, but at the be beginning of this video, I was a little bit disappointed in myself that this corner of my bedroom had not stayed clean and tidy like it once was after I first decluttered it. I went through a major declutter of this bedroom about a year ago. I will link those videos in the description below. If you thought this was an uh, interesting, tiny little transformation, I think you will be really amazed with the transformation of my bedroom from a year ago. Um, I basically, if I want to give you a little bit of a hint, did the minimalist challenge game at least twice in this bedroom, which means on day one of the month, I got rid of one item. On day two, I got rid of two. All the way to day 30, I got rid of 30 items. That equals 465 items in a month. And when I did it once, I needed to do it again because I had so many items in here that either didn't belong or just really hadn't been went through in a really long time and needed to leave our house. So um, I think that you will enjoy those videos. Again, I'll put them in the description. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel if you like to watch videos that have wonderful before and after shots with extreme differences after a declutter. Also, if you are looking for a place for encouragement with your own decluttering, this would be a great place to join. I would love for you to subscribe and see my videos that come out every single week.